Hi guys, Ashley here back with another video. I wanted to show you guys how I got these bomb curls and how I'm doing my makeup for the new year weekend. So I hope you guys love it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more of my upcoming videos. The hair that I'm rocking is from Laundry Hair Company. They're an AliExpress vendor. This hair guys, it's so bomb, it's so thick. My closure is always laid. I leave the house with confidence every time I wear this unit. Right now I'm showing you guys how I curl the hair. I like to start off with a hot tool. It could be either a wand, a curling iron, or even a flat iron. And I like to use the wand, preferably. And then I use a flexi rod. This helps to have those long lasting curls all weekend so you can have fun without worrying about some dead curls. The hair guys, it holds the curls so well. I don't know if it's because it's so thick, but I love it. I don't have to worry about having tangles or if it's matting up in the back. Hashtag love. Hashtag send me more hair. <laughs> I'm wearing a 16 inch frontal and one 18 inch with two 20 inch bundles. This is the Brazilian body wave. All the details will be in the description box. So definitely check it out so you can get the link to the exact vendor. Onto my makeup, I'm currently getting rid of my natural uneven eyelid and setting a new layer of perfection using Ellie Girls Pro Concealer in Warm Honey and Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. New palette alert, Better Together by Kat Von D and Too Faced. I'm using the Kat Von D because I'm feeling dark. <laughs> and I'm using Love Struck on my brow bones. And I'm going to use this blending brush using yours. It's like a smoky gray. Starting off with a light, smooth transition, then darken it up a bit as I go. baby hair on soleil then i'm going in with devotion on my crease to give a deeper smoky eye kind of look because we're going for a more dramatic look obviously it's the new year's and going back to my concealer i'm going to create this um, cut crease we're just getting rid of any pigment that landed on our eyelids so or other colors we could pick up better and then I'm going to set it with the translucent powder then go over it with some of the white from the palette and top it off with darlin which is like a silver shimmer But because it's not that much shimmer for me, I use my NYX glitter in the shade Glace. It's so much more sparkly in person and it fixed the occasion perfectly. I'm using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. It came with the palette. I like that it's like a marker. I get a more precise line this way. I think it's perfect. Then I'm using this mascara. It's from Too Faced, also from the palette. It's called Better Than Sex and it isn't really. I feel like my Maybelline is better. So to keep my face matte all day, I'm using Milk of Magnesia. Then I'm going to apply my lashes while the Milk of Magnesia dry. Am I the only one whose eyes get irritated when I wear lashes? Comment down below and let me know. What could I do? Like, it's so annoying. Like, I can never wear my lashes all day. My fave primer to get rid of pores is the Pore Eraser from Baby Skin. I never wear anything without using this primer first. My foundation, perfect for a party filled weekend, goes to NARS. No laugh lines the entire night. It don't move, guys. I get to go out after the party. You know when you go to the diner and you get to flex, but the lights are so bright, but you still look beat. So it's perfect. Like this foundation is life. And it's the shade Dark 3, but everything will be in the description box. And to brighten up and add dimension, I'm using Ellie Girls Pro Concealer under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, Cupid bows, chin, forehead head and jawline of course I'm going to blend it with my real technique sponge clean and damp for the best results Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier to bake my face. This is my favorite satin powder, even better than the Benai, in my opinion. It's lightweight, it's the perfect shade. Like, I'm able to bake without it looking super cakey. And 
and I like to leave my translucent powder on while I contour my face. I think it makes it way more easier, even for beginners, because it's almost like a guideline. So the areas that have no translucent powder, those are the areas to contour. Simple, right? Then I'm going in with the lighter shade from the Black Radiance palette to help me blend everything out smoothly. No harsh lines are invited to this party. New highlight palette guys from Tarte is called Pro Glow. I'm using fire, guys it smells so good. I'm highlighting my entire face just to keep that smell alive. Now I'm using this brown liner because why not? And I'm using Kat Von D's liquid lipstick. Guys, it's in the shade Exorcism. Like what the hell? Like why can't you just say burgundy? Now it's finally time to take my hair down. So I'm just going to remove all the rods. I'm getting so excited to show you guys these results. Like it's such a perfect technique to use the hot tool and then use the rods to seal the curl in. Like it just works so much better. So I don't like uniform curls, so I'm just going to be pulling them out, playing with them to get my desired look. You guys, you know, you could, you could leave it uniform if you'd like, but I prefer to like have it full with more volume. So I'm going to slay my fake baby hairs. <laughs> this frontal guy is so perfect. The baby hairs come with it, but I made them shorter. And just going to manipulate the curls some more. And because we use the flexi rods, you're able to play with those curls without any issues. Just use your fingers and swell them right back and you're good to go but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video hope you had a great holiday and a happy new year's i will see you guys later bye